Welcome to JTV Kids. I'm Ryan Ashley, and this is my friend, Shaler. And today, we're gonna show you how to make these. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know, sorry, I do sorry, it all the time. <laughs> stretchy paper bracelet, stretchy friendship bracelets. Wait, wait. Stretchy, stretchy friendship, friendship bracelets, bracelets with, with your, your paper, paper bead, bead bracelet kit. Stretchy friendship bracelets with your paper bead bracelet kit. Dun, 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 dun. Now, if you don't have your kit, no worries. Just tell your parents to go to jtv.com slash kids to order yours. <laughs> In this kit, you'll find stretchy cord, charms, one jump ring opener, spacer beads, jump rings, one five inch piece of wire, and two strands of paper mache beads. Papillon mache is French for mushy paper. Actually, that's about right. Fortunately, these are dried and hardened into super cute beads. Also, you'll need one pair of flat nose pliers. Ready to make your friendship bracelet? Now, in order to measure your wrist, you're going to want to take your cord, wrap it around your wrist one time, just like that, and then take the length and double it, and then double it again. And if you're butterfingers like me, you might want a little extra. It never hurts to have extra cord. My wrist is five inches around. Times two equals 10. Times two again equals 20. Fold your cord in half and give it a good stretch to break it in. Uh -huh. I think you've got it. <laughs> okay, Shaler, take your piece of wire and fold it in half. Then loop your cord through the end. Now pinch the ends of your wire. Perfect. Just kind of give a little bit of a needle shape and the other ends too, just for a good measure. At the folded end of the elastic cord, tie a knot to keep the beads from falling off as you string them. After you've strung your beads, be sure to leave about two inches so you have room to tie the whole thing off when you're finished. Use your jump ring opener or flat nose pliers to open the jump rings. Add them to the charms and close them back up so you can add your charms along the way. Now, add your beads, charms, and spacers however you like until you have enough to fit around your wrist. Last step. Once the bracelet fits, tie the ends together in an overhand knot three times. Make sure to ask a grown-up for help if you need it. Now, you can do it all again and give one to your BFF. So, who are you gonna give it to? Hmm, I don't know. Nobody comes to mind? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. For more cool kits and projects. Just go to jtv.com slash kits.